Hello everybody! Today we're going to unpack and take a close-up look and try on the Georgia Straps Elastic NATO Watch Strap in light blue and white. So let's go ahead and open up the packet. But not before first taking a look at this thank you card from Georgia Straps with some store links. And we'll set the card on the right hand side of the frame and moving on to the strap itself. So you can see that nice light blue and white color of this nylon NATO watch strap. So it's available in 20 and 22 millimeter widths. This one is the 22 millimeter wide version. Let's pop it out from its clear plastic packet. And just very gently sliding the clear plastic packet off. And I'm just going to set the strap down so you have firstly a nice clear view of this nylon NATO watch strap before I start handling it and getting my fingers in the way of it. Okay, so there we go. So it measures 280 millimeters long or 28 centimeters. Now taking a close-up look at the strap so you can see that it does have a nice chunky set of metal hardware fittings and it does have a very nice finely brushed pin buckle as well as a pair of keepers right there and you can see they do have a nice rounded corners to them and taking a look at the underside you can see nice consistent stitching and taking a look this way as well so you can see those vertical fine brushing on the metal hardware right there And slightly different type of brushing on the keepers as opposed to the pin buckle as you can see right there with its vertical fine brushing it's right there giving you various looks at this Georgia straps elastic NATO watch strap so this is the light blue and white version. So you can see that blue is nice and soft with a chalky white strap going down the middle of it right there. And moving right along, the length of this 28 centimeter strap you can see there are plenty of pinholes right there. Can you a close up look? With nice centering of that white, chalky white line going through the middle of those elongated rectangular pinholes. And just taking a look at the other aspects of this Georgia Straps elastic NATO watch strap. Okay, so nice, good look. And in terms of elasticity, let's find out. I'm just going to tug it right there, and you can see that it does stretch. And in terms of texture, if you look closely enough, you can see a kind of nubby type pattern to the strap so a nubby type of textured weave right there and now I'm going to stretch it again this time around the pinholes and you can see right there just how much it stretches so it's going to provide quite a good amount of comfort in various climates or temperature conditions in addition to 
that long array of pinholes right there for fine adjustment. Okay, so good look overall, as you can see, side view, and that fine finish and chunky tang or pin buckle right there of this Georgia straps elastic NATO watch strap. And taking a look at the stitching on the lower layer of the strap. And right there, nice good look. And once again, going to do a stretch test right there. You can see just how much this 280 millimeter length strap does stretch. So right there, plenty of elasticity. And of course, pliability as well, as you can see. Just how soft this strap is and of course taking a look at the tail end of the strap because that's always quite important as during long-term use the tail ends of NATO watch straps do tend to fray if they're not fused properly so this one doesn't have that great fusing as you can see the edges are somewhat rough still so that is quite likely to fray over time but nonetheless giving you a nice close-up look at the tail end of this strap and a nice good look once again at the weave pattern and texture of this strap and of course thickness as well okay so nice good look overall of this georgia straps elastic nato watch strap in light blue and white and in the 22 millimeter wide sizing and as i mentioned earlier also available in 20 millimeter width Okay, so there's only one thing left to do now. So just saying, the strap down. Actually, just taking just one more look right here. And then setting it down. And of course, let's try it on and let's fit it on. What we have here is a Tudor Heritage Black Bay Harrods Special Edition, which I've unboxed on the channel before so it does have a 22 millimeter inner lug width now let's go ahead and fit the Georgia straps elastic NATO watch strap onto it so very simply just popping the long part of the strap through the top part of the watch and then towards the lower set of lugs and then right through to the lower layer of the NATO watch strap so right there you can see nicely fitted 22 millimeter wide Georgia straps elastic NATO watch strap Okay, and giving you other looks to the various aspects in terms of fitment of this strap onto this Tudor Heritage Black Bay Harrods Special Edition. Giving you as thorough a look as possible, as we always try to do on this channel. So 
right there. I'm trying not to stretch the strap. And let's balance it up right in the middle right there. Just for symmetry, of course, right there. And then in just a few moments, I will tug on the strap ends just to show you once again the or the elasticity with the watch head fitted on the strap. And let's reposition it just slightly again. It's right there giving you that look. Okay, so now just going to stretch the strap right here so you can see once again just how it works in terms of the elasticity of the strap. And there we go. So nicely fitted. Let's strap the watch on. So I do have a 17.2 centimeter circumference wrist or six and three quarter inch. Now let's strap it on and let's see if I can do that, which is always a slight challenge with the tripod and camcorder in the way. But there we go. So you can see right there the length of pinholes on the strap. So plenty of adjustability there for fitment. And let's pop that pin right through. And once again, giving you a look now on my six and three quarter inch or 17.2 centimeter circumference wrist. And popping right through the two keepers. And you can see the tail end right there. So we do that tucked in or tucked under look. And this is where the tail end of the not so well fused strap tends to fray when you do that tucked under part as you can see i'm struggling right here because the edges are slightly rough but here my vain attempt to get it through obviously a little bit more difficult with a camcorder set up in the way but let's see what i can do right here so struggling just slightly, but nonetheless, there we go. Getting through the first keeper and the second keeper seems slightly easier right there. And if I've got enough nails, I might be able to just grab that tip end of the tail. And you can see just how that fraying is starting to occur as it pinches on that keeper so have to be careful there nonetheless you can do a little bit of fusing yourself if you've got a set of tools and a lighter to minimize it from fraying and ripping right there but nonetheless the watch is now fitted on my six and three quarter inch wrist And quite comfortably as well given that it is an elastic strap so it will conform to different weather or climate conditions so right there giving you a look at that fitment and of course that tucked in or tucked under look with the tail right through the two keepers. Okay, so now just popping 
the strap off, simply pulling it right through. And taking just one more look. Right there. So that's the Georgia Straps Elastic NATO Watch Strap in light blue and white. Thanks for watching and happy ticking!